Take the thing! <laughs> Christopher James Adair. My Chris. To say I've been dreaming of this day since I was a little girl is no cliche. Because I started scrapbooking my wedding when I was nine years old. So I could start planning what would be the most magical, beautiful day of my life. And it is. You effortlessly felt like the one. The one, and I've heard over and over again in fairy tales and movies. I was love struck after our first date. For the first time in my life, Christopher, you've made me feel a love I've never felt before. You taught me how to love myself. You made me feel beautiful like, without tanning or hair extensions or makeup. And I really liked those things, so I gave them up for you. I've learned to turn to your love in any situation. Despite moving across the country, despite losing my father, despite watching my dream drop fall apart, despite going through some of the ugliest times of my life, you've loved me and you still woke up every morning and you chose me. And you told me I was beautiful. When you told me I could do anything. You're the person I want all the time, no matter what. And I feel empty without you. You're the person who eases my worst worries, and you're the person who my dad was to me. I vow to be the best wife I can be with you. And do everything in my power to make you feel loved every single day. I hope you know how much you need to me. You are my soulmate. You complete me. And I can't wait to grow old with you. So beautiful. What did you think? I knew it was gonna be big. You're beautiful. You're so amazing. Jacqueline, approximately 3,162 days, 21 hours, and 50 minutes ago, I was picking you up for your first date. Immediately, I could tell something was different about you. We set off to the local pool hall where my competitive nature took over and in an attempt to show off, I completely swept the table, did not allow Jacqueline to pocket any balls, I don't think. I vow that I will always be a competitor for our future and our love together. Jacqueline Brown, you're the most thoughtful, kind-hearted person I've ever encountered. There's nothing I wouldn't do for you either. And there's nothing you wouldn't do for all of your friends here. You never think that somebody who is struggling to pay the bills would tip a cab driver $50 for a $20 trip. But that's Jacqueline, the most generous person on earth. It's because of these reasons and many more that I vow to you that I will be the best person that I can possibly be for you and for our future. I love you, Jacqueline. and friends, we're here today due to the love that Chris and Jacqueline share and witness the marriage and hear the exchange of vows between them. The community that is here today is a testament to the role that each of you have played in their lives. You will learn that there are times when love is easy and times when it is hard, but working together, you will find that love that will grow. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. amazing personality. You're hilarious. You're tenacious. I love you for that. She helps those she loves grow with her strength, dedication, and perseverance. 
Jacqueline radiates life, love, and laughter, and it is infectious. Jacqueline always has the kindest words, and she brings joy to Chris. Chris, over the years, I have seen you love, care for, and selflessly give yourself fully to Jacqueline. I am so thankful for both of you. I'm so happy to see you both become one. In the future on a cold day, in the future on a day when you're feeling a little down, we hope that this is a memory you can pull and feel the warmth and love in this room. Let's talk about love, like you and me all night, and let's talk about love. text Chris when I knew Jacqueline was working. He would casually stop by with a Jugo juice in hand. This strategy culminated one afternoon when against my advice, Chris would make his big move. He would fit his six foot three, 220 pound frame into a pair of women's size two wonder unders. It was like watching a train wreck in slow motion. But to my surprise, Jacqueline didn't flinch. Each contour of Chris's finely tuned bod was matched by a corresponding sparkle in Jacqueline's eye. She whispered the most romantic words a Lululemon employee can say. She said, Chris, those wonder under high rise crops in the ultra durable moisture wicking luck stream not only highlight the proportions of your chiseled frame, but they're going to feel like a second skin while providing you the targeted muscle support needed to enhance your performance in any activity you so choose. Chris walked away with Jacqueline's phone number and two pairs of $80 women's tights.